What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about cash is a construct. And we're gonna talk about how you have to think about your business, but you also have to think about the cash. And I wanna talk about it from this vantage point. When I started my first five businesses, which all failed, I was not thinking <clears throat> of cash. I was thinking, get this business started, get it running and to make cash. But at that point in time, I didn't understand the things that made a business successful. So all of my first five businesses failed because here's the two things you have to understand. There's the thing that's your business that you have to think about. And then there's cash that you have to think about. And I want to sound somewhat esoterical because this is how it has worked for me. When I, first of all, let's start at the beginning. Whenever I create a product, so the end user has a really good experience. So I just don't do things for money. So that's the first thing, is to create a good product, to create something that the end user is gonna get a lot of benefit from. That's the first thing. The second thing, I want you to think you've got two buckets, right? In this bucket, you have the business. In this bucket, you have cash. And like I said, this is gonna be somewhat esoteric because typically you need to have a duality in the understanding of cash and the business because it's two different things. And once again, I'm about to go way, way back in time. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph and Burry. All right, so here's the thing that you put in your subconscious mind. And like I said, there's a duality here. You put in your subconscious mind the ultimate goal that you want to happen. And then it's two things. Number one, you start the business, you go ahead and do the things to get customers. You're actually reprogramming your actions, if that makes sense. Let me go ahead and give it to you in this framework. Let's say you want to make 100,000, and this is really key because you have to make 100,000 before you make your first million. And you have many people who are, I'm gonna make a million, I'm gonna make 10 million, and they haven't even made their first dollar. So this is one of the immutable things of this construct. You cannot make a million before you make 100,000. It's impossible. You have to make that 100,000 on your way to your first million. So this is part of the reason that cash is a construct. And I need to share this with you. Most of us are not used to abundance. Most of us are not used to having way more than we need. It's a psychological construct because if you're not used to having more, it's kind of hard for you to build a business to create more because from a mental standpoint, you're not used to having more give you an example, and this is a little detour. At one point, I had three cars. I had the Porsche, I had the Mercedes-Benz convertible, and I had the BMW SUV. And I had this construct because I had the financial ca capacity to have three cars, to pay the car insurance. However, I realized something in that construct. At the moment, I could have four cars, I could have five cars, I could have six cars, right? But I am not a die hard car guy. For me, two cars is plenty. Once again, I'm not a car collector. If you're a car collector, knock yourself out, that's all fine. I'm just speaking from a personal experience. I have the construct to have more, but from a personal standpoint, I don't need more personally. With establishing this construct, you need to essentially train your brain to be ready to realize and to see more. And once again, there's a bunch of people who from a psychological standpoint are not accustomed to having more. This is one of the reasons that you will see NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball athletes leave college, go into these spectacular multi-million dollar careers and when they get ready to retire, they have no money because number one, they're still that person who they were in college. Now, I would say some things 
that are happening today at college are going to help these people manage their money better when they're getting pros. Because many of the top college athletes are entering into these NIL, name, image, likeness deals, where they're getting into seven figures. And what we're going to see as we go further, say 10 years in the future, we're going to have a college athlete who's going to be making five or six or maybe even $10 million. So this is going to prepare them when they make it to the professional league. It's going to set them up because they will be used to having a lot of money. And this is really key in the cash construct because this is one of the reasons. Once again, I want you to subscribe. I want you to hit the bell notification. I want you to watch this video two or three times because when you get into the cash construct and the cash construct is a totally separate entity from your business. See, here's the thing. It's just, like I said, two buckets, cash construct over here, your business over here. Right. But the thing is, mentally, you put them together. And what happens is with the cash construct, and this is one of the reasons that I want you to write down your goals. If you want to drive a Lamborghini, you want to drive a Rolls Royce, what I suggest you do is go to the dealership and actually test drive that car. This is what it's going to do. And literally, you don't have to lie. You can just go in there and say, hey, at some point, I'm thinking of getting a Rolls Royce or a Lamborghini in the future. I'm not ready to buy now, but I want to test drive. And just tell the salesperson that. Don't go on a Saturday, which is a busy day for them. Go Monday through Friday at an off peak time and test drive your car, because this is going to give you information that you just don't have. Because once you test drive this car and you create an understanding of getting this car, it's going to be extremely powerful for your psychology of money because many people have very bad money psychology. It's like I get money, I spend it, I buy stuff I need, I buy stuff I don't need, I buy stuff I want. They don't have a really good money psychology system. Because once again, I want to, and I'll be talking about this in the future. Over here in this bucket is your money construct. Over here in this bucket is your business. And what you do is you put them together because one of the things that helped me is I had an understanding of money and I had an understanding of power. I'll just say this, I will never be a billionaire. And that's not even on my radar. I will never be a billionaire. I don't really, I don't care about being a billionaire. And with that, with the money construct, I will say something for you. And I put this question out in the live stream that if you were to get a certain amount of money it will literally change your life because for the average person who's working 40, 50, 60 hours a week and that 160 to 200 hours per month of work nets them 2,500 to 3,500. If that average person making that money's income went to 10,000, that would be game changing money. And that's only 120,000 a year. That's only 120,000 a year. That would be game changing money for the average person. Now, for someone who's already making money, because here's the thing with your peer group, when your peer group elevates and let's say you're making 250,000 and you make been making 250,000 for five years. So from a psychology standpoint, 250,000 is what you're used to, what you're capable of, and you feel really comfortable with 250. You go for other jobs and other stuff. Once again, you feel comfortable with it and then you be looking up. You don't look backwards at the people who are making way less. 90% of the country, 90, maybe 93, 94% of the country makes less than 250,000 a year. So that's a lot of people. But once you get into that peer group, you look up. So you're making 250, you live in a nice house, you have a nice lifestyle. You're looking at the people who are making 500,000. You're looking at the people who are making a million. And because they have way more than you do, you may feel a sense of not having enough, even though you're making more money than 95% of America. And this is the psychology of money, because one of the things I don't do is I look at the money that other people are making. The money that other people are making, God bless them, congratulations. I really don't look at that. 
What I look at internally for my psychology is what I can do, what I can build and what I can create. I don't look at other people. I don't like Kylie Jenner, I think that's her name. I don't need to see someone who is, because Kylie Jenner is, her circle is filled with wealth. She's associated with wealth. I am not surprised that she created a company that made so much money because with her peer group, she can just signal that type of money just in her peer group. But with the cash construct, you need, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to sit down and I want you to write out how much cash you think you need to live. Because for everyone, it's gonna be real different. Right now, there is a woman out there who's working a menial wage job. She has two or three kids. And if she can make $8,000 a month, her life would be changed. Her life would be changed. And that's a little bit on $100,000 a year. Her life would be explicitly changed. And there's a kid in college who comes from a wealthy family. Maybe his father makes a million a year. That would be buckets because once again, his peer group, and we'll be talking about peer groups and money constructs. But for you, if you're outside of a higher peer group, what you have to do is to do the internal work to move your cash construct because I'm about to tell you something that no one's ever told you. Your cash construct can be flexible. But for many people, there are many people who are smart, hardworking, do the proper things, but their cash construct is really low. And regardless how hard they work, regardless of what they do, their cash construct is gonna operate within that system. And this is one of the reasons that I, once again, I'm giving you the modern money mindset course. First link in the comment, it'll be in the description box because people need to develop a higher cash construct consciousness. Because once you get this consciousness, it's gonna be almost spooky and eerie how easy it will be for you to build a business that creates this cash. Because here's the thing, when you start a business, there's two things you're struggling with. You're struggling to get your business recognized and get it going, and two, you're struggling with the mental adaptation that you as a person will undergo. When you start a business, you start making money, you will go through a personal adaptation that many people are not even ready for because Essentially, I was listening to Ramit Sethi, and he has a podcast, I Will Teach You To Be Rich, and he had a couple on there where this girl who's in college, once she graduates, she will go into 215,000 per year. So right now she's not making anything. And they were just talking about it. And for her, that's such a heady concept. And this is what I think will happen. She'll come out of college, she'll go into that job, and it'll blow her mind. But after she's been in that industry, three, four, five years, it won't be such an impressive sum. It's an impressive sum because at the moment, she is not making that kind of money. She's not making any money. But once she gets into it, because it's like this, once you get into it, once you start making this money and have an understanding of this money, it becomes quite easy and comfortable for you to make that money. But as long as you have a low cash you can work 100 hours a week and you're only going to make so much money because hard work is part of it. Hard work is critical, but you need to have the proper mindset that you will grow into or adapt. And some people never grow into it. Some people never adapt. This is one of the reasons that you will see someone who was famous, maybe a musical star, maybe a professional athlete, and once their light dims, once their abilities tamp down because they get used to that thirst, but they their cash consciousness is still very low. It's still very low because I'll give you an example. You heard of the artist Herb Albert. He has a song called Raj, right? Herb Albert is worth $850 million. Herb Albert was an artist but he also owned a record label. That ownership principle, and Herb Albert is like 80 something years old, and he is still performing. 
Go ahead to Google and look up Herb Albert concerts and you will see he's still traveling the world, still performing. And I'm going to add a little extra with that. I feel that the reason that Herb Albert is still performing is he loves music. And because he loved music and he made very smart, distinct decisions early in his career, this is why he's at an age that many people are literally fighting, struggling to walk. And this man is going on stage and still playing music professionally. Because I feel that he loves music. He loves what he does. But once again, once you begin to understand the cash consciousness, and this will be some of the stuff that will be in the Modern Money Mindset course to help you reach a higher level of cash consciousness for you to reach a higher level of doing the proper things. Because one of the things that you have to understand is mindset, your subconscious mind, and how your subconscious mind interacts with reality because your subconscious mind is extremely powerful if used in the right way it will literally blow your mind how strong the subconscious mind is once you do the proper things once you set up the proper things once you begin to understand money there's a girl baddie and budgets she's here on youtube she's here on she's on TikTok, and she started a youtube channel with cash stuffing envelopes and literally once she began to acknowledge her money take track of her money her financial life changed. just cash in envelopes once again you could check her out baddie and budgets you can check her out here on youtube you can check her out on TikTok. so one of the things that will happen is you have to become intimately aware and personal with your money and this is one of the things because i was doing some research and the average person under 30 has a 660 credit score now what does this mean does it mean these people are dumb or, no it's just they don't understand money and this is something else that's going to be in the modern money mindset course is how you can create a perfect credit record on your personal side and develop business credit to use and carry balances that way your personal credit record is always available for you to get credit in the future because you're not using your personal credit that's a really difficult mindset for a lot of people to embrace but this is one of the things that you will be taught in the modern money mindset course which is free and I'm going to tell you why I'm giving this away to you for free because this is the information that many people pay for. If you become aware of the things that you can do as a native citizen, because this is one of the things, there's so much you can do. You become aware and you start to do it and you start to realize, guess what? You experience a transformation. Once you go through the money, the modern money mindset course and you experience this transformation, you have a shift in your cash consciousness. And this shift can be really powerful for you to set yourself up for the reality, for the future, to create a certain outcome, to create a certain lifestyle. So what I want you to do, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button, and watch this video two or three times. And then I want you to get Modern Money Mindset. It's gonna be in the description box, It'll be in the first comment. And once again, it's 100% free. And just don't get it because it's free. Get it and actually do the work. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'm here today. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll probably be here 10 years from now. So I will see you in the next one.